Hello, I want to talk to you today about poetic inquiry. This is a subset of arts-based research and is much loved by some researchers, often those who are also poets. I have to say though, I'm very fond of poetic inquiry and I'm not a poet, though I do like reading poetry. People who are really into poetic inquiry claim that you can use poetry at any stage of the research process, and indeed they demonstrate that you can, though the literature suggests that poetry is most often used when people are analysing data or presenting findings. It's rare to find poetry created by participants, although it is sometimes created by researchers as data. Perhaps because writing a poem is a form of observation, so it's quite a good way if you're that way inclined to create data about what you're seeing or experiencing or about what other people are seeing or experiencing. And this is also perhaps why writing poems is can be useful when you're analysing data, because it's a way of observing what's in your data, what you're finding from your data. Writing poems isn't the only option in poetic inquiry. Another option is to create what they call found poetry. This is poetry from words and phrases extracted from your data or from literature, perhaps from your references in your bibliography, from any way you like really. And found poetry can either be sequential, which means that the words and phrases that you pull out to create a poem with are used in the same sequence in the poem as they are in the original source, or they can be non-sequential. So you pull out a whole bunch of words and phrases that seem a bit poetic or that you like or that say something about a particular theme in your data and you put them together in any order you like. One thing though about found poetry is it has to stick to the words and phrases found in the source. Even if you really want to add another word or phrase in, if it's not in the source, that's not okay. That's kind of a rule when it comes to found poetry. Using found poetry or writing poetry, if you like to write poetry, can be a really interesting way to look at your research topic or it's an aspect of your research. When it's used in data analysis, it's kind of another way of slicing the data, as we say in qualitative research, and extracting parts for inspection together to help you look at the data with a little more distance um, and make it a little more unfamiliar for you. One way of doing this is to use iPoems, which were devised by Carol Gilligan and then used by Susie Weller and Rosalind Edwards from Southampton, and more recently Elizabeth Chadwick has turned these into pronoun poems. I poems are created by using interview transcripts as your source and taking every statement that begins with I or has I prominently within it out from the transcript and putting each one on a line of its own in order to form a kind of a poem. Sounds simple, it's harder in practice because there are always decisions to be made about which statements, how much of a statement, and so on but it can be a really useful way to get a sense of the identity of the person who you've done the interview with. And Elizabeth Chadwick has taken this further, involving you and they to create more complex pronoun poems, and that's another interesting way. The thing about poetry, actual writing poetry, is there are forms you can use like haiku, quatrains, limericks, sonnets, and so on, but you can devise your own form. And the same with poetic inquiry, you can figure out your own way to do it, as long as it's systematic, it's worth having a go at. One good thing about using poetry in and for research is that the poetry you produce does not have to reach the same aesthetic standards as poetry you might want to publish in books or perform on a stage. Poetry in research needs to be recognisably poetic and serve the purposes of the research, that's all it needs to do. So, if you like the idea of poetic inquiry, why not give it a go?